if you read the title or the thumbnail, I don't really know what I'm gonna call the video yet, but um basically Well let me just let me let me let me just uh demonstrate it real quick because it will be easier than trying to explain it right so let's understand on obviously okay so obviously you know before there's always been um there's not always but you know before they were nerfed and then after the recent buff gauntlets has um it's it's uh has two combos out of nah right so like Oh, like this. All of that is a true combo, right? Same with if you do a recovery out of it. It's also a true combo. But you'll see that the problem is that you have to gravity cancel it, right? Like, if you miss that, if you whiff the down light, that's an easy punish. And then you don't have a dodge. And it's not good. So it's kind of high risk, low reward, can I mean high risk, high reward even. Right, because, you know, you're getting a lot of damage or, you know, you're, you're setting up for a kill. And it's all true. But you have to do it out of this, right? So, I'm going to show you something different. You can. Now, it is a very tricky... Tricky input, right? Very, very tricky input. But if you do a grounded D light, okay. And I'm gonna run you through this like as slow as I can. Cause I want you to understand that. If you do a grounded D light, you can get grounded D light into nah true. Which means you can also get, you know, into a D-Light, into a Dare True, into a Recovery True, whatever. And the way you do it is, you might think it's the same as Hammer Rush Mafia, right? Which is, you do D-Light, you jump, chase dodge forwards, and do a net like that. But that is not, like, that isn't consistent. Nobody in this game could get that consistent. Like... Sandstorm, Boomy, nobody could get that consistent. That isn't possible to get that true consistently. The way you can do it, though, is because this game has a weird mechanic where if you jump, like if you start a chase dodge, right? Like, you start a chase dodge like this, but you jump within a certain amount of frames of starting the chase dodge, the chase dodge is in the air. And I can't even do it now, cause, like like that. I don't know if you saw it, but you do the chase dodge, and if you jump, the chase dodge is in the air, right? And you see how I land there because I was in the air. If I do it normally, it, it looks like um, it looks like this, where you just chase dodge along the ground and you don't land because you weren't in the air, right? You, you just you just on the ground. So out of that. Right, um, I'll teach you how to do that first, and then I'll teach you how to do the rest, okay? So, you do D-Light, and what you want to do is you just chase dodge towards them, like, okay, so you do D-Light, chase dodge towards them, right? Like this. And as soon as you start the chase dodge... This is like important because of like something you'll I'll, I'll show you later on. As soon as you start the chase dodge, you want to let go of the button you're using to chase dodge. So, for example, I'm chase dodging right here. Like I'm chase dodging right, so it means I'm holding right and pressing my 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 dodge button. But. What you want to do is when you you want to start the chase dodge and immediately let go of right. As soon as you, as soon as you start the chase dodge, you want to let go of right. And um, at the same time as you let go of right, you want to jump. The jump has to be very close to the start of the chase dodge. And then you'll see that happen where you're in the air. 
it will take you a, like a lot. It'll take you a, a long while to get this consistent. But once you do, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty easy. Like you get the muscle memory down for it, you'll be okay. I don't get it consistent, you know, a lot like stuff like that happens, for example. But I can get a consistent, you know, a good amount of time. Like that. So you want to see that you're in the air, right? And that's how you know you're doing it right. Because if you're not, you'll, you'll, it'll be like this. It'll be on the ground. And you know you're not doing it right. So at that point, what you've done is you've done a D-light. you chase dodge towards them. You've let go of right and you've pressed jump. So you're in the air during the chase dodge. So after you've done all that, after you've chased dodge right, let go and press jump. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't be touching any controls. Nothing should be like being touched on your controller, or your keyboard, or whatever. Right, your 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 Wii steering wheel. So what you want to do after that is because it's a neutral layer you're doing, right? You just press square. You don't press side. You don't press down. You don't press up. Like. You don't press up and right, you don't press up. You just press square after you've done all this. So you, you'll do the chase dodge. And it'll be in the air like that. And oh. And that's what should that's what, that's what should happen. Right. Is you get a true nerf follow up. And you know. It's really difficult to cons get consistent, but like once you get, it's just about muscle memory, really. I think my tip for you would be to just just do it, just do it a lot, right? One day or one night, even probably. I'd I'd say do it a lot one night. You know, you go to sleep then, and you wake up, right? And I promise you, it'll be so much easier. Like, that's how you train muscle memory. You do something, you sleep on it, and then, you know, the next day, it's like, it's more ingrained into you. So it becomes a lot easier, right? But, um, that's it, really. Um, and then obviously you can get a down air follow-up that's true. Or you can get a recovery follow-up that's true if you do it right. It was one dodge room for me because I'm bad at the game. But, yeah. I don't know. I think this is, um, honestly, if you can get this down, this is amazing. This is like, this is really good for gauntlets. Like, very, very good. But this is like top tier stuff. Like, you're not going to see anybody like below diamond doing this. I mean, you know, maybe if they're in the lab hard enough, then maybe, but. So, if I was you, I, I definitely practice it. You know, if you're plat, if you're gold even. It's just guaranteed damage out of a D-Light. Guaranteed, all of it. But, um... It's also a kill combo, actually. Let me let me shut that off, let me shut that off. Before I dip. Say he's on 140, 130. What should we put him on? 1... 140. I will say that the combo is a bit... It's a bit tighter at later health because they get sent further, like... But you should still be able to do it. You know, I got one dodge room there. It's all true. I'm just um I'm just like that. I'm just I'm not amazing with it yet. I've been I've been practicing it a lot lately, but Yeah. I thought I'd make a video on it because it's not well known about. It really is not that well known about. So um I thought I'd give you a little short little video, little tutorial on it. Uh try to explain it as best as I could really. But um, if you enjoyed, if you learned something, then I'd appreciate if you dropped a like. And if you enjoyed my content, then I'd appreciate if you subscribed. You'd be able to keep up with it. And yeah, that's it really. I um, hope you have a good rest of your day. I wish you luck practicing this combo. <laughs> and peace.